let's give Virgil a little um, clap. So as you know previously from other episodes, you would have known that Virgil got himself in a bit of bit of bother during the big during the yeah during the kind of the throes of the protest, right? During the whole maybe the first couple of weeks or maybe the first week. After the death, the untimely death of George Floyd, um, he got himself in a bit of bother because of the donation that he screenshotted and uploaded to his Instagram stories, which I think was unfair. It was quite clear that he was doing this whole donation chain mail thing, but it got misconstrued as he was just donating fifty dollars. But in context, because previously to that, pre- prior to that, he was posting stuff about being annoyed and being upset that kids were ransacking stores of his of his friends and associates, and then those friends and associates turned around and said, "It's no big problem." We can replace um, material items if people want to rage out and get political. Let them do it. Um, that made him look a bit dumb, and then you know just various other things. But in general, you know, people don't really like Virgil anyway. I've always said this. I think can- that's how cancel culture works. Really, if they don't like you, they look for any reason to kind of get you, and then they sort of just like keep attacking until you basically kiss the ring. Um, in this respect, it feels as if the the misstep from Virgil wasn't that serious so they kind of backed off of him a little bit and the fact that you know he's the only prominent black fashion designer on the scene at the moment it would be quite silly to essentially delete him or to get him off the or to kind of take him off his platform just because you don't like his politics or just because you don't like the way he does something I don't think that's necessarily a useful um way to go about things and in general again uh, you know I, I think the guy can he doesn't do himself any favors but i think it's really unfair to say that he doesn't do anything for the black community you know he he does go at or above and beyond to surround himself with kids um up and coming in the scene mostly black kids gives them jobs gives them p- p- positions puts them in rooms um introduces them to people you know expands a network that he's done with himself so that whole thing was really uh, annoying and weird to see but he has done a good he has kind of rectified the situation the stuff he was doing prior where he was sort of like uploading everything he'd done with a black person was really strange because i think if a white person did that that would be really performative so I, I didn't really like that sort of side of things and again i'm not i'm not involved in all this sort of um what do you call it um creative what's it fashion re- reparations that's going on at the moment where everyone wants to get rid of anybody it, that's got a prominent position that happens to be white and replace them with somebody black i'm not really for that whole vibe but i think the screenshotting of every piece of work that you've done that has you know somehow had a black voice in it is a bit cringe but i think what he's done now has been really awesome it's really awesome he's got he's set he's put together an initiative um a fund actually i'm gonna say is it an initiative or a fund how would you phrase this da, 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 da. i haven't read this actually just yet um let me see if it loads up my screen my computer is going slow okay there we go no he set up a fund yes this is from virgil's instagram profile and quite um cleverly put it together actually i think it's a really well done and again it's a good way to sort of like lean into the meme um he has uh, taken on the whole like two virgil's moniker or the two virgil's insult and sort of like use that as you know something that he can um use to his advantage so this is what it says it says here to this is version of instagram it says tuition support for black students fashion scholarship fund called the postmodern with obviously in quotation marks scholarship fund initiated initiated with one million dollar raise that's amazing so here's a caption it reads um anyone that's ever been in a meeting with me or creative brainstorm or even a random i message chat knows that i'm forever fighting for the 70 year old version of myself i'm not really a fan of that way of starting sentences anyone that knows me would know that i'm a good guy it's like but no one knows you right you just just get into it i don't i don't really like that whole way of talking because you know there's not a lot of people that have the opportunity to be in a room with you whilst you're doing these things anyway so it's a it's a mute point but anyway we we, we proceed it says um he says what that specifically means is all i want is for any young black kid to achieve a shorter path to that career goal to their career goal sorry and if i can help with an open source approach to opening doors or messaging uh how i did it along the way then i've done my real job not my actual job okay that's great point he says i'm putting my money my resources and my rolodex where my mouth is just keeping it two virgils great and again great way to lean into a meme great way to lean into an insult great way to lead into an attempted cancellation because you know 
by the you know again like i said i don't think people really want him to get cancelled i think if anything they probably wanted him to kiss the ring to succumb to their wishes to do the things as they want to do but i'm also glad that he didn't do that he didn't do any sort of performative gestures and he just went about doing it like let me try and rectify the situation the best way that i can do and the best way he can do is like as he mentioned he's going to put his money his resources his rolodex um you know to work to allow the next generation of person that comes through to you know get that platform and to be able to have that chance to just you know to do what he'd done or better and i've always said even when everyone was complaining when you got the louis vuitton job yeah fair enough he might not be the most skilled designer his stuff might not be the most um visually appealing if you're used to you know the conventional fashion that's on the runway now at the moment or whatever or you just think it's plain old s-i-s-h-i-t but i think his position is far more important in the fact that it's it's just an example i think growing up especially for me you know i didn't really, yeah growing, yeah growing up for me i guess it would it would have it may it might have helped to have seen somebody that looked like myself doing the things that i wanted to do because at the time i came up you know who do we see i saw oswald boateng I saw who else I saw that I think there wasn't a lot anyway of black designers out there right so the fact that he is you know unabashedly a black designer carries himself a certain way surrounds himself with certain you know a flavor of people it is going to serve as inspiration for someone to else to come up and maybe they don't do fashion maybe they go into a completely different field but you just need those examples you know around and i think it would have been a real loss if they would if some of the woke twitter mob would have been successful to essentially cancel them because you know we need people i think everyone plays their part right in the same way hood by air plays plays their part um virgil plays his part simon rose plays his part everyone that's designing everyone that happens to be black that was also designing a fashion with in various levels of success whether they're pie and most whether they're somebody else they all play their part so they all kind of fit into this massive jigsaw piece that we all need to be in place to make things better for everybody um and, and that's why i think it's always going to be a, a, a benefit to it too it won't just benefit black kids it's going to benefit all kids coming up because i think this generation especially the ones that you know what do you call them generation z the kids that exist on tiktok they're a bit you know they don't really see color in the same way that we do and if we and if they sort of brought up in a world where you know you're surrounded by everybody under the sun um it might be it might you know it might bode for a better future maybe who knows who knows anyway it continues it says the following he says i'm just keeping it two virgils or more accurately that many virgils in the slideshow above i've started a scholarship fund for black students and raised one million so far pre-announcement with the same manic creative brainstorm that got me here with the support of my collaborators um and the fashion scholarship fund it's called the virgil abloh postmodern scholarship fund link in the bio for more details email me there the goal is to make sure i'm not one of few but i'm one of many in my industry which is bloody awesome to see man so again great well done to him i think um in the same way you know we like to poke fun at people and have a bit of a laugh which we did because i think that two virgil thing was absolutely hilarious i think the fact that he was complaining about people breaking into sh you know shops and the shop owners were like hey we don't really care that was f legitimately funny um the pop smoke cover was a legitimate lol but i think when someone does something good and they rectify the situation and they again you know he didn't have to do this you know he's, he's got enough on his plate he's a busy man um he could have just done uh, you know he could have just signed a couple of checks and kept him moving but he really he he probably took stock of the situation maybe he was saying hey even though people don't see the stuff i'm doing behind the scenes i'm gonna do even more just to kind of put it out there that i'm not the bad guy that they're trying to paint out which is a good thing isn't it? in general if, you know maybe if, if even if it's performative i think it the the benefits are far away the negative in, in that respect you know some kids somewhere you know without much access to you know the best schools or some of the best resources going to be able to access that fund and maybe change the life or the you know change the lives of his family and generations to come forever so this is a really monumental thing so yeah congratulations to him and well done to virgil i think that's an awesome awesome achievement